Folks, you know I gotta give you more than one seasonal table for each season. So come check out the Spring Easter table right here on my take on Home and Garden. Folks, we're back with a beautiful five seater table with a 70 inch buttercream, 100% cotton with tulips. Now I know I used that the last time, but I used it on the big table and we wanted it to match. So we're gonna see it one more time. And our inspiration for today are these wonderful white ruffled edge, very Victorian looking chargers. Okay, and they're gonna match really nicely with our old English plates by Jansen Brothers in the Belvedere pattern. Just nuts about these. Now, don't fall in love with these because <laughs> it's like the hardest thing to try to find on the planet. <laughs> Three years, I still can't get a set of 12. So I would, you know, find something else you, you love to collect because this one is really, really tough. All righty. Now also, I do want to add that we have the salad plates at least for four settings. So that's really cool. You know, I'm going to stagger the monogram here just a bit because they're not going to line up anyway because it's a different diameter plate. Okay, look how gorgeous. Now, in our table, I thought I want to do a quickie new centerpiece that you haven't seen before. You haven't seen it this year, anyway. If you've been with us, you saw this cute, low and short, squatty vase, absolutely vintage, 50s or 60s, with the three-sided swan. Okay, we're gonna get a center medallion here. That's gonna help us keep everything measured straight and we're gonna do an arrangement in this swan. Okay, what have I got? I gotta get a little piece of pine in here that I always do and that's just acting as our oasis. Everything in here is going to be short and low. Now how cute can you get? This looks like possibly delphinium. Pink and full and gorgeous. And we're going to go with two of them. Look at that fill our little vase. <laughs> oh my goodness, this little cluster with these tight little roses and I want to go with them as well. Get them in here. This won't be the easiest thing to work with. You can just think of the little vases that we did earlier, not too long ago. Okay, loving that. Now here's a single that we can get in position in a different spot to help push that over. Really liking that. Then I've got a little purple hydrangea, but I don't think I'm gonna use it today because of the, the colors that are in the plates. Instead, I'm gonna go with these little bitty tulips and they're gonna make this arrangement so eastery that anybody would understand that language <laughs> to be Eastery. Okay, and I think I want 
you know, each side did look a little different. See how many we can get in here without pushing the envelope, so to speak. We got two more. Maybe we'll share that around a little bit. Okay, we're going to go with it and check it out for a while. It's nice and low. For all you people that are so worried about seeing everyone, you know, Aunt Claire with that mole on her face and, you know, your cousin that you don't speak to anyway, make sure you can see him. Here is the rest of the chargers. Now we're gonna move our camera in a minute. And you see there's always a paper in between to keep everything nice, even the charger. We're putting the two corners just to keep everything the same on the edge of the table here like this. Wonderful. Now we're gonna put the rest of our dinner plates on. If you've never seen this Old English by Johnson Brothers, it's so nostalgic. It's so vintage and cute. It, to me, it just represents a real effort to be civilized and be extra exquisite. Look at this, what a dandy. Now we'll get our salad plate on there. Fit for a queen. And there's four of those. Next, so we know what we're doing. I wanna get the silverware on like you always see me do. We'll get over here, we'll get started, and then I'll catch it all up. On the left is the dinner fork with the salad fork. On the right is the dinner knife, the dinner spoon, and the dessert spoon. Now we're gonna leave a little space. Well, let's, we can put the napkin, 100% cotton napkin with our gold napkin ring. We'll put that on the plate today. I like about a 45. I think it looks good. I'm hoping you like this combination. And you new folks, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And you can join our wonderful YouTube family right here on my tag on Home and Garden. Just look at the comments. We have a lot of fun here. We have some of the best people on planet Earth right here with us. That's for sure. Now to stay coordinated, we're going to get our teacups and saucers on. We're going to have a bit of tea today and we're having most of us a salad like I mentioned and guess what a breaded veal cutlet which we're just nuts about okay and with that veal cutlet. We're going to have a rich mushroom gravy and we can get that in here somewhere where it's not going to bother the glasses that are coming. 
Now we're going to have a cheese plate and cracker. And we're going to need some glasses. Now we're going to have a water glass by Anchor Hacking. Right there. Now this shows if you're off a bit, the teacups first, then the water. Alrighty. Some of us are gonna want a little burgundy. A little red wine with it veal. I'm gonna have to cheat a bit on this cup and saucer so that everybody fits in. And we're having the first grapes of the season in our little two-handled serving dish by Fenton in the satin baby blue. Thought that would work. We want to get a little cozy and romantic so we're going to have candles in a candlestick by Westmoreland in the old lace pattern. Where you're going to go guys. Now we've got this beautiful terrain from the country of Austria. I have very few pieces from Austria. Everything we have, I'm nuts about. They keep a high standard, so it's just beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Also, a wonderful teapot today. And for those hardy folks, that want a wine, we're having this uh, Iron Rock Cabernet Sauvignon. And the year is 2018. So we got a four year old Cabernet. I think I'm gonna light these candles and take you and show you all around.
So folks, if you liked our wonderful Easter table for five today, to go along with our Easter table for 12, which you're gonna see next in the Spring Easter Home Tour. Right here, guys. All put together for you. I think it really came out good this year. We'll see what you think. Anyway, give us a like, a share, a comment, tell a friend. <laughs> Check out that store, you know, you looked at it, and it is full of goodies. <laughs> really cute stuff. Thanks for all the support and helping us stay right here for you on the full Living Color Maximalist Network on my take on home and garden. Thanks guys, and we got the garden coming up right after your Easter home tour. Take care, be good, and we'll see you in the next incredible over the top decor video.